The world is a pretty weird and strange place out there, especially recently, but if you happen to live in a shady neighborhood or just like people watching, then I got the perfect... That bastard stole my N64! So far I've used a lot of different inexpensive ways to turn gadgets into something more, and today is no different. Thanks to the use of this old phone and a small app, we can finally keep track of the weirdness that goes on in my neighborhood. In this case a wireless camera or security system that can be extremely helpful if you just bought a new place or you're just paranoid in general of the outside world. Obviously we need the phone itself, which is an Android phone in this case. This tutorial isn't particularly covering iOS devices, but if you are looking for a security solution, I recommend ManyThing. The link is in the description below. If you don't have a phone lying around, then I highly recommend eBay for cheap, out-of-date Android devices. As long as you have Google Play and can connect to Wi-Fi, then you should be all set. And lastly, not a lot, right? Some adhesives or a stand to mount your device. This particular tutorial is pretty easy and it will just take a little bit out of your time. I should mention at first that if you are using an old phone, try to install as many apps that could affect your performance as possible. Or just format it, factory reset it, whatever. As long as it's brand spanking new to your end. First go to Google Play and search IP camera. I also put a link in the description below. Once installed, open it and it should take you to the default dialog screen. Here you can change some settings around such as video resolution, motion detection, and login options. There's also quite a few things to sift through if you want to make this as powerful as possible. And did I mention it's free as well? But let's test it out first. All the way at the bottom, hit start server and the screen will turn into a camera. If you see an ad, then don't worry, it's still working it's just a pop-up because it's a free version. Now how do we view it on our computer or tablet? Well in this case you can look on your phone screen for the IP address, which will start with a 192. Enter that exact number into your web browser, and the IP webcam app should load up. From here there's a variety of options to choose from. You can open the video feed from different types of formats, including audio. You can take pictures, manually record, which you can download at your spare time. Some other things to note though is that depending on the distance from your router to your camera could have some effects on the video feed. So I recommend changing the video resolution in the settings just in case so the feed becomes smoother. But like I said, it just depends on the distance from your router. But hey, feel free to try out any of these settings to see what weirdness you can capture outside. You don't want those creeps coming in and stealing your game consoles, you know? 